display and zeolite, uh, even spirulina, the same detox effects that you'll get from these kinds of substances can actually cause minerals and other nutrients to be flushed out of your body, supplemental nutrients. So they won't be flushed out of your body once they're in your body, once they're in your system, but if they're in your digestive tract and you take your earth or your or your bentonite clay or your zeolite with your supplements, you may end up losing the benefit of those supplements. So for detoxing minerals and uh, using spirulina or zeolite, you want to take those separately from your detox, uh, separately from your minerals, because you may lose those minerals as the detox supplements eliminate, help you eliminate those minerals and vitamins and nutrients, as well as they help you eliminate those, uh, those toxins. They're, and they are wonderful detoxifying substances. Bentonite clay is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And it itself is a good source of minerals, too. You can use bentonite clay right into liquid. You can drink bentonite clay. It uh, tastes kind of, actually tastes pretty good. It looks sort of like a puddle of mud, but it tastes really good. And it is a good source of minerals, as I say, electrical minerals, as well as a good detox element. But you don't want to take your bentonite clay or your zeolite with nutritional supplements because it can magnetically, the clay or the zeolite can magnetically attract those supplements and flush them out of your body. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think we'll continue talking about Sam E. tomorrow. It is a really, really interesting nutritional supplement, even though you don't hear about it these days too much. About 10 or 15, 20 years ago, we used to hear a lot about Sam E. as a brain health nutrient, and it is involved in this whole A to B to Z, A to B to C process, and it does have a relationship to homocysteine. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue on the bright side, talking about amino acids for detoxification and for bodybuilding and bone building as well. Okay, our number is 855-660-4261. We do have a couple lines open for you. Let's go to California and welcome Shirley to the Bright Side. Good morning. Shirley, what's up? Yes, good morning, Dr. Ben. Um, good morning. My problem is that my last pap smear indicated on an atypical squamous cells of undetermined significance. And oh, my goodness. Uh, are you reading well, that? Are you, did you, how did you, you I'm, said that I'm, I'm reading it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the acronym is ASCIS. And the, um, and I also tested positive for HPV. Ooh. And the recommendation is is a colposcopy, which, of course, is in, invasive in, to me and a possible biopsy. Well, and my experience with the medical model wants me not to go near yeah, that. You're, you're smart lady. You're smart lady. So oh. I want to, you know, and also this has been the first. I've never had a, an abnormal pet now. Okay. How old so, are you, ma'am? Or just roughly? I'm 60-ish. Okay, 60 Okay, so here's the deal. First of all, biopsies. You know, I've always had a problem with biopsies in general. I mean, when you do a biopsy or when you have a biopsy done, you're actually sticking the needle in. If there is cancer, right. sticking the needle into the area. And if there's cancer and you stick a needle into a, a, a small tumor or some kind of cancerous lesion, you're just going to spread that cancer. So, yeah, you may need to have a biopsy occasionally, but you want to be really careful about it. And it seems like a problematic right. procedure. In any case, a pap smear. And by the way, do you know what a pap smear, what, what pap stands for? Do you ever um, wonder? Oh, I guess I don't know. <laughs> nobody, nobody ever hear about that. It's actually named after the doctor who was the first guy to do pap smears. He was a Greek guy named Papanakalou. Uh, Dr. Oh, George, really? Georges Papanakalou. And so instead of calling it a Papanakalou test, they used to call it a Papanakalou test, actually. They call it a pap test or a pap smear. It's basically, basically just a smear of your cervix. And what they're looking for is they're looking for defective cells. Uh, that can sort of screen out cancer. Defective cells can be a precursor to some kind of cervical cancer, and they're actually test that's basically what they're testing for, is cervical cancer or sometimes uh, HPV, a uh, human papilloma human papilloma viruses. Uh, it's a good test, but but here's the thing. If you have abnormal cervical cells, you got a cell problem. And as we always say in this program, all disease is cell disease, and precursors to cancers are defective cells. Cells become defective. The, the shape of the cell starts to change, and that changes how cells process energy. And once cells process energy defectively, or, or they, there's defects in how they process energy, they can, they can trigger genetic changes, will ult, which will ultimately result in cancer. So a precursor to cancerous cells are distorted cells, cells that have the wrong wrong kind of shape. Shape is everything in chemistry and shape is everything in biochemistry. And once cells have distorted shapes, they're abnormal cells. That's what an abnormal cell is, by the way. It's a cell that has a distorted shape. That can be a precursor to cancer. But here's the thing. Nobody just has distorted cells in the cervix. They may notice it in the cervix. Your doctor may notice it in the cervix. But you've got distorted cells. If you have it in the cervix, you're going to have a problem with cell distortion throughout the body. Basically, cells are beginning to break down. 
and in the in the reproductive system, the female reproductive system, that's almost like a red flag and an indicator, kind of a window into the body. And the fact that you have distorted cells in your cervix means you probably have messed up cells throughout the body. So you're starting to break down, my dear. That's the bottom line. So what do we do? We don't have you don't have a cervical problem. You got a body problem. It's just showing up in the cervix. Does that make sense? I'll tell you what to do here in a moment. But does that make sense? Well, just I've done some research in regarding HPV relationship. There's some say that there, that actually is a good thing because it helps the, the cells, and then the other says that it's a precursor. Well, uh, you know, it's a virus, and whether it's whether it's a good thing or bad thing is is not really the point. The point is is that your body's starting to break down. And if you go to the doctor, they're going to focus on your cervix. They're going to focus on your reproductive system. But it's your entire body that needs to be focused on. Your body is breaking down, and nobody, 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 nobody just has broken down cells in the cervix. If you got broken down cells in the cervix, you got them all over the body. And so you don't have a cervical problem. you got a body problem. This is so important. This is one of the hallmark cornerstones, cornerstone principles of what I call the bright side philosophy. The body breaks down as a hologram. It breaks down as a it, holographically. It, it breaks down. If it's breaking down in the cervix, it's breaking down in the bones, in the eyes, in the muscle, in the heart, in the blood vessels, in the skin, and everywhere else. And so what good does it do to focus on the cervix if the rest of your body is breaking down? This is why the modern medical model gets an F. Uh, as in failure, because it's focusing on these individual parts, these individual components of the body, and forgetting that these individual components live in a context of the entire body. Your entire body, my dear, needs to be addressed. And I'll tell you how you do that, because it's not that complicated. So hang tight, Shirley. And we'll, we'll come back from break and address your question, and then we'll take, a, if you're on hold, we'll take all your calls, or as many as we can get to today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 3, uh, 855-660-4261 is our number, and we'll be back after this. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from the Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 Eight three two six. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies. 
byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters. For the love of clean water. Yeah? Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going or what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Well, right, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. Yeah, and what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can guess a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll call the freeze-dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson, and it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? I hope not. Now get your supplies organized and meet me down to the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the freeze-dry guy. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are G's. All right, we are back on the bright side talking to Shirley in California. Shirley, you there, ma'am? Let's get Shirley up here. Hey, Shirley. Nathan, I should not have the procedure. I'm not going to tell you yay or nay. This is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, okay. When they do a pap smear, they're looking for sh- or for cells that are growing too fast and they're all distorted and they're out of shape. These are the ba- this is one of the basic things that happens when a cell breaks down. It grows too fast, it grows out of control, it doesn't grow fast enough, or it will make the wrong kinds of stuff. That's basically all that happens when a cell breaks down. The question is, is why is the cell breaking down? Now, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, you want to think about hormones, and, and this is probably the main reason when it comes to cells of the reproductive system, and that is progesterone and estrogen. Those the two main hormones, although there's probably some other ones that are involved, but the two main hormones that are involved in uh, reprodu- cells of the reproductive system growing too fast or too slow uh, involves estrogen and progesterone. So first thing you want to think about is probably ba- balancing out your estrogen with a little progesterone cream. Progesterone cream is non-toxic, so it's a great strategy for all health, all uh, estrogenic health issues, female health issues, and you can it's pretty okay. readily available. If you aren't okay. on aren't on progesterone cream, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, I already. I am taking it, and I also have the estrogen, estrogen cream, too, but I'm predominantly using the pre- progesterone, progesterone cream. Progesterone cream. Okay, that's good. Now, that's just more like a symptomatic kind of thing because I'd be more concerned with why are cells growing out of control inside your body. What other health symptoms do you have is the ultimate question so we can form a picture of what's occurring. Nobody just has one health issue. You may notice it in one place, but until we get to uh, multiple sample points, multiple data points, we can't form a picture of what's occurring in your body. Do you remember a guy named Bob Ross who was a painter? He was on TV. Did you ever see that Bob Ross guy by any chance, Shirley? Um, so, no, I guess they haven't. Okay. Bob Ross was a painter, and he used to show people how they would, could paint pictures uh, very simply and very easily. And what he would do is he'd draw little lines on this canvas, and by putting two or three oh. lines in the canvas, all of a sudden a mountain would appear. You know who I'm yes, talking about? Yeah. You, you remember <laughs> yeah. that guy, right? I was a yeah, kid when I would watch him, and I'd be amazed. He'd put three lines, and boom, there'd be a mountain. Another couple of dots, and you'd see a river. And then another couple of dots, and there'd be birds flying in the air. And all this was done by putting different dots, because once you accumulate sample points or dots, pictures start to emerge. With one dot, you don't have a picture. But with two or three dots, you can start to form a picture of what's occurring in the body. And this metaphor or analogy can be applied to the, to the body in terms of health. When you start to get multiple points, a picture will observe. With an ab- a, a picture will emerge. With an abnormal pap smear, we got one point in the middle of our canvas, and it doesn't tell us squat. If a doctor is good, if, uh, and there's not a lot of them, but if a doctor is a good doctor, what he'll do is he'll start to accumulate data points so he can form a picture of what is occurring in the body the way Bob Ross forms a picture on, uh, of a landscape on a canvas. This is what a good doctor should be doing, and it's what very few of them do do. They'll test your, your, your cervix, and they'll say you've got a cervical problem. You don't 
have a cervical problem, you have a body problem. So let's start to work on how our cells are growing throughout our body. And I'm going to assume that you, you know, I don't have time to get to a whole picture with you today, but I'm just going to give you some ideas on how you can work with the cells of your body. First and foremost, surprise, surprise, focus on the digestive system. Nothing will mess up the shape of a cell or the function of a cell faster than a messed up digestive system for a lot of reasons. One, toxins get into the body. Once the digestive system breaks down, that will cause defects in cell growth. And number two, because you won't be absorbing nutrients as well once your digestive system breaks down. And that too will cause defective cell growth, which te- 